Greetings big and small gamers, this is Fadeus or you can call me Tadeus and welcome back to the Fadeus lab. Today in my hands we have latest GPU from Nvidia, RTX 5060 from MSI and here you see the cheapest variation of this card called Ventus X2. This is my first review and I am going to show you who would get the most out of this graphics card and will 8GB of memory be enough. We will take a look at most popular eSports games to see how this GPU performs. Sponsors of this video are my friends from PC part shop called Kilobytes based in Lithuania who gave me this GPU. Of course, let's not forget the man, those GPUs won't even exist, founder of Nvidia, the one and only ray traced lever jacket, Jensen Huang and his legendary phrase. The more you buy, the more you save. Okay. All right. First on our list is the fan favorite, played almost daily by millions of tryhard players, Counter-Strike 2 or simply CS. No matter how old you are, everyone knows this game. Isn't it fun to come home after work, hop into the quick match with your friends and still lose to the kids who practically live in this game? On almost minimum settings but at 2K resolution, this GPU handles it perfectly. However, I want to mention that without shadow play recording, the FPS counter goes above 400. Next up is one of the best PvE games on the market, Rust. In this game, people even take vacations or days off just to protect their base during a global wipe from the Chinese players who dream to raid it. Even though the game isn't new and the graphics aren't that impressive, this masterpiece is still very demanding on both the CPU and GPU. With a few hundred players on the server on medium settings with reduced textures, at 2K resolution you can get over 100 FPS. And of course, we can't forget the legendary PUBG, a much calmer game compared to the ones before. You will even have time to smoke a cigarette or sip some coffee while sitting in the bush, waiting for the zone to close in. Playing on the max settings isn't really necessary, in this case, medium graphics and 2K resolution gave us the performance you see on the screen, but let's be honest, most people stick to the low settings for even better visibility. Next on our list is the so-called Call of Duty killer, The Finals. Sadly, it also suffers from its share of strange skins, but hey, at least it's not Nicki Minaj running around in the purple suit with a giant hit mark on her back, if you know what I mean. Performance is excellent, even on medium graphics, the visuals are not looking like potato. Next up is the infamous Helldivers 2, a game that sparked huge controversy but still stands as an absolute masterpiece. Breathtaking scenery, incredible performance, non-stop explosions and pure chaos shared with your squad. It's everything you would ever want in the shooter. Sure, Sony eventually backed down but by then damage was already done. Still, none of that takes away from the fact that the game runs battery smooth, looks fantastic even on lower settings and delivers an unforgettable experience without needing sky-high FPS. If you have decided to play something outside esports, let's see how Stalker runs. Another Unreal Engine game that struggles a bit with the optimization, but after all, the story matters more than the graphics. On medium settings with DLSS quality and frame generation enabled, we can get pretty decent FPS. And 
And finally on our list is Fortnite. You probably remember the glory days when streamer called Ninja teamed up with Drake and basically broke the internet. These days your biggest enemy isn't a pro player, but a 5 year old with cracked aim ready to send you back to the lobby. Sure, the hype has cooled down, but hundreds of thousands still play it daily. Let's be honest, this game runs on literally anything, even on your grandma's toaster. So, here is what I can say about this graphics card's acoustics and thermal performance. At stock, the card draws around 145 watts and produces a bit of coil wine, and the temperature is around 71 degrees, which seems a bit high. I expected less from such an efficient card, but after a light underworld, the coil wine goes down and the card runs cooler. I also compared it to my old liquid-cooled RTX 2080, which is already 7 years old, and as we can see, the 5060 is faster and consumes almost half the power. So, we have gone through the most popular modern games and now we can draw some conclusions. Nvidia is clearly targeting casual gamers, those who don't care much about ultra graphics and 8GB of memory is more than enough. We all have those few friends who spend thousands of hours in only one game like Counter Strike. Sure, it's a bit of a shame that the card has only 8GB, especially when a 5 year old 3060 had 12, but keep in mind the 5060 is roughly comparable to the old flagship like 2080 Ti, which cost around 1500 euros, or the 3070, which also cost about the same during the mining race. As they say, there are no bad cards, only bad prices, and the 5060's price is fair, and it consumes more than 2 times less power. On top of that, all those old flagship cards on the used market are only slightly cheaper and have likely been worn down in mining farms. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit like and subscribe. This was Tadeusz and see you in the next one.